Gurt Morgan from Steinberg. Time to go drive some trucks. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good day. It's Thursday. You know, I'm gonna miss this girl. She's a good truck. She's got some character and some age on her. She's a good truck. She treated me well. Speaking of missing that old truck, <laughs> they put me in a new freight shaker today. Well, not a new one, but it's a newer one. It's a Cascadia. Man, this thing drives quiet compared to my old truck. I guess the, the, the other truck was so loud and I got used to it and I just, you know, that was just, regular for me already they put me in this truck where they're test driving it for the day and uh it runs like an electric truck it's so quiet i don't know what to do with myself in here i, I can hear myself think that's a scary thought i can hear myself think that you know so uh we're taking this cascadia uh into winnipeg i don't have to yell at you guys anymore so i can just talk in my normal voice this is nice this is very nice. This is a little treat. Uh, my second last day uh, pulling this trailer here. This is very nice. It's kind of like a, a little treat. <laughs> it's my second last day before I'm in a different truck again. I'm not sure if that'll have a sleeper on it or uh, if it'll be a day cab. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. But yeah, this truck runs like a Cadillac compared to that old one. For the most part, I don't really care what truck I get put in. Uh, I just like trucks in general. So as long as I'm driving trucks, I'm happy. As long as they're running well. Not breaking down all the time. But as long as they're doing good, you know, some of those old trucks, they're, they're better than the new trucks. But the one advantage this one has for sure is the sound in here. I could whisper and you could hear me in the other truck. If you have anyone in the passenger seat, you have to yell just for them to hear you, pretty much, or talk loudly. So uh, that is one big plus to this truck. Nice and quiet, much smoother ride as well. It's got a longer wheelbase. Gonna be heavy. How heavy is this? This has got Russian writing on it. Fascinating. I think that's Russian anyway. Maybe it's Ukrainian. How much weight are we looking at? 1000 kg, so about 2200 pounds. Come on, Josh. Show him your muscle. to hold me on the ground so I don't fly away all right so the the biggest difference I can notice in driving this truck is that there's no splitter which is weird to me so it's just a 10 speed I haven't driven a lot of 10 speeds before they're usually 13 speed but this has been working just great except uh, when you kick it up into the next round of gears your next gear is gonna be over here instead of up here I figured that out <laughs> while I was driving. I was like, Why are there such a big gap between these gears? It feels like I'm missing a gear. Oh, it's a 10 speed. So it runs really nice, like a very smooth ride. The, it rides like a Cadillac. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this truck. It's, uh, it's very nice. So I'm getting some goodies put on me right now. And uh, those will be going back out 
to southern Manitoba once we're done here. We're in Winnipeg on the east side. And uh, we'll see what today brings. I don't know how much they're putting on me. Are they filling my whole trailer? I was just told to go here and pick up what they had. And I'm not allowed on the dock here, so they know what they're supposed to put on me. I guess once we pull up when they're done, we'll see how much they put in. So I've got my lunch right here. Took my garbage can with me to stay organized. Look, this thing even has a nice little mask hook. And one down here as well for my spare. 2021. <laughs> I got all my other stuff over there. Look at all the space in here yet. Wow. That's my inverter that I use to charge up my phone. So I can use my 45 watt supercharger. That charges up my phone from zero in less than an hour. So that's why I take that along. Cause I use my phone here for everything during the day. GPS, calling customers, calling home, everything, whatever I need, whatever I need. That's so I need to charge that up quickly. Uh, I've also got this charger here, which is connected to you guys to keep you guys charged up. But uh, other than that, yeah, I've got all my cleaning products with me here. So this truck smells like cleaning products right now because I've been doing the mandatory truck to Josh wipe down here. I'm not quite done. Still got some dirt around here and on there. But uh, yeah, if I get into a truck, I want to leave it better than I found it. And I also want to enjoy my day because I got to live in this thing for the rest of the day. Oh, they're in the trailer now. I got to live in this thing for the rest of the day and I want it to be clean and smell nice. So all my garbage goes in the garbage can and at the end of my day or whenever it gets full and I can get by a dumpster or a garbage can at a truck stop or something, I just dump it in the garbage there and that way garbage doesn't build up on the floor in here because that's gross. Well, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to go through the back roads to get here, but here we are. What does this say? Bridge, maximum 40.8 tons, metric tons. We'll be just fine. Look at how the farmers uh, push up the snow on their fields like that too, to stop the wind erosion, like I was showing you the other day. Oh look, a creek. Wonder where all the beavers are. So glad we don't got to deal with that anymore. Just keep trucking down, trucking down the back road here. How far do I gotta go? Another kilometer and then I gotta turn right. Someone way out here has something for me. Well, I have something for someone else and I'm gonna take it to them. I'm glad this road isn't very soft yet. Thanks. Those four skids left, and those are going out tomorrow. <laughs> I left my clipboard in the trailer. Better go get it. Oh, it's windy, of course. Okay. The gloves. I apologize for the wind noise in advance. This truck is actually, you know, I actually like it. Looks pretty good. Nice prairie sunset over there. windy on this side but not much better this is the truck it's just a, a rent I don't know if it's a rental or what it is <laughs> they're trying it out for the day they wanted my opinion of it my opinion is it rides like a Cadillac wonderful well I was gonna chat with you a little bit more out there but that wind is just biting Sun's starting to go down, so it's starting to get colder again. But 
No, this truck has been running really good today. Uh, the engine's obviously good. The truck itself is good. Uh, my only critique, if I had to critique something, would be that on the highway, something seems out of balance a little bit. There's a little bit of that wobbling and shaking that I was dealing with when I had my Freightliner, uh, Colum no, Freightliner uh, Sentry. Uh, it just shakes on the highway. I don't know what it is. That's, there's a reason they call them freight shakers. They shake. That's the only criticism I have of this. Other than that, it runs great. It runs smooth, quiet, like a Cadillac. Of course, they're going to tease me with this on my second last day, right? <laughs> Tomorrow's probably going to be back in my regular truck, and then I'm off to uh, new pastures, I guess. Well, old pastures, familiar pastures, just different pastures than I'm on right now. Let's slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. 80 kilometers an hour here, Josh. 80. That's where this is where that uh, the ghost car that's not really a ghost car always sits. That blue cop car. Uh, I showed it to you in one of my videos. He always sits right around here because this zone here is a new 80 kilometer an hour zone. So for you Americans, this is a 50 kilometer an hour zone. Uh, it used to be a 65 or 62 mile an hour zone. So people always forget that those people never being me, obviously. Nah, never be me. Uh, and he sits here and nicks all of them. Just gets them. Nicks them right in the butt. Give them a big spanking. So not today. I'm headed home. Uh, it was a bit of a long, longer day. Got off at 6 o'clock today. Uh, but I was privileged enough to ride the green caddy. That's what I'm going to call it thing rode like a Cadillac. I know I've been talking about it all day already, but man, <laughs> I was spoiled today. I don't know what vehicle they're going to put me in tomorrow. Probably the old, the old truck again. And that's totally cool. It's fine. But, uh, you know, if they put me in the green caddy again, I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Little farewell, farewell thing. Maybe <laughs> it's my last day in this truck, uh, either truck tomorrow. And on Monday we, uh, start back in familiar scenery uh, Monday morning I have a meeting with everybody there in the office uh, I'm gonna go over a social media policy and once that's all agreed to signed uh, then I can obviously start sharing a lot more with you so let's wait till then and uh, should be good good times ahead so while I've been doing this pulling this little uh, 28 foot pup around I've uh, been here just a couple of months. It wasn't that long. It feels like a lot longer because I really do like everybody there. I got along with everybody well. I felt I felt like I got along with everybody. Uh, my boss is a great guy. Uh, the 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 load gods, dispatchers, great guys. It, it was a really it was a really nice place to be. You know, they treat you like family, and uh, those are the kind of companies I want to work for. So. Fantastic. I, I am sad to leave. It's a fantastic company. I'm sad to leave, but uh, new opportunities call. I almost sort of feel like I'm going home because I, I spent a third of my life there. You know, I, I worked there for almost 10 years and I'm going back. It feels like I'm going home. But sad to leave the group of group of guys I was working with now. So anyway, uh, Brett's probably going to get off work soon. Uh, we'll probably get home around the same time. And uh, we'll make some supper, put the video together, go to bed, and get ready for tomorrow.